The latest Spotlight Terror Raid event is now live with Salamence and Tyranitar being the main Pokemon that you're going to get in this event. In today's video, I'm going to show you two Pokemon builds that are going to make these raids easy for you to do solo or online with friends. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So we did cover a couple of builds in our preview video that we did for this particular event. We covered Tyranitar and Hydragon as options against Tyranitar, the ghost type specifically specifically, and then Iron Hands and Iron Valiant as options against the Salamence. But I wanted to give everyone an option that wasn't version exclusives, things that were available in both copies of the game. Also, after going in on the Salamence and finding out a few more details about it, Iron Valiant and Iron Hands don't seem like the best options with the array of flying type attacks that Salamence is going to throw out at you. Now, High Dragon is a great option against Tyranitar, but I put together another option for you players out there, not a version exclusive, and that is going to be King Gambit. The Dark and Steel type Pokemon got a huge defense stat which is going to help against those physical type attacks against that Tyranitar and the only thing that you're going to really worry about is the Earthquake. Put Iron Defense on the set so you've got an option to increase your defense there to take less damage. We've given the Shell Bell so you've got an option of recovery when you do hit the Tyranitar and Swords Dance as well to boost up that attack. The nice thing about King Gambit is it does get access to Defiant and with Tyranitar continually using Crush throughout the battle there are going to be times where you get that drop in defense giving you a plus two in attack stat meaning that your sword stance boost is going to be cut down by a turn meaning you're going to be able to max that attack out and start attacking the tyranitar a lot quicker King Gamut is a great option. Once you've got that Iron Defense up and the Sword Stance boost, you're going to be able to take any attack from the Tyranitar and just throw out a barrage of damage against this Ghost Terror type. We've maxed out EVs in HP for Longevity and Attack just to give you that little bit of extra damage when you are throwing out attacks. And like I said, with the Shell Bell item, it does give you a line of recovery when you're going in against this Tyranitar. If you go with this King Gamut, I have no problem taking down this Ghost Terror type mascot Tyranitar in either Pokemon Scarlet or online when you join other players in Pokemon Violet. For Salamence, we've put together Rotom Heat. Rotom Heat is going to be probably one of the best options against Salamence, specifically that Steel Terra type mascot in Pokemon Violet. Rotom Heat has the ability Levitate, so it's not going to be worrying about any ground type attacks. It does not care about the flying type attacks that Salamence throws out, so Joe Wingbeat and Hurricane. It only really worries about the dragon type attacks, which are going to be Dragon Claw and Dragon Breath. Now we've given the moveset to Rotom of Reflect, Nasty Plot, Terra Blast and Overheat. It's got a modest nature and an EV spread of 252 in HP just for longevity and then 252 in special attack to maximize damage. The idea of this Rotom is to set a Reflect up first turn and then start Nasty Plotting up and then hit it with a barrage of Overheat and then when you can Terrestrialize rely more on your Terra Blast because then the Overheat drops aren't really affecting you as much. We've given the item leftovers for recovery each turn which does help especially after the reflect is set up the salamence is not going to be doing too much damage and it's going to give you that extra staying power that you need to take advantage of those nasty plots after you've boosted up making this raid super easy to complete on your own or with other players online so this was a very quick video today but i hope if you are taking part in this spotlight terror raid event this weekend these tips do help you out and if you do use either of these pokemon let me know down in the comments section below i'd love to hear how you're getting on in this event thanks for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then take care bye bye